Alrighty, in this uh, today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a suite of four carat, I'm sorry, four two carat uh, emerald cuts, all in the um, G, H, and I color range, and all VS2 clarities and higher. And uh, we're going to be looking at optics, we're going to be looking at step patterns. And let's get just get started here with this first one, which is a diamond around the uh, 190 range here, in a G color. The highest. Uh, this would be the highest, almost colorless one in the lot. GVS2. Okay. Now, when it comes to emerald cuts, I like getting the light right on it, where we're not really getting much glare. Like that right there is all. That's pure glare right there. And here's looking at the step patterning and the light reflecting off the facets as we aim it into the camera. So this one has good brilliance. Um, there is some leakage in it. We can see right straight through that uh, facet in the center there to the gray behind the diamond. But overall, a good step patterning, really good length to width ratio. All these have been weeded out for pristine length to width ratios and table depth measurements and polish symmetry uh, gratings as well. So this is a good candidate, uh, just a touch under the two carat mark with um, really nice looking optics and an emerald cut. All right, let's move on to emerald cut number two. Emerald cuts I like kind of grabbing and aiming into the camera because they never seem to sit straight in that tray. Okay, this diamond uh, I'm going to tell you right now, also nice step patterning in this one. Um, this emerald cut is a brighter emerald cut. I'm getting lots lots of more. See now, even when I'm not tilted into the glare, I'm getting a nice amount of bright white reflections back to the, you know, back to the eye here. And um, I can tell you right now, this one here, this is, now we're going a little over two carats. Instead of a G, it's an H color, and it's a VS1 clarity. So super clean interior uh, in an H color. But between the two, um, I definitely am liking this one more. <laughs> okay. Brightstone, great, great optics in an emerald cut. The patterning, everything. Okay. That first 190, it wasn't a train wreck, but if I had to choose between those two, forget about it. Okay, this one here, this third one, it's another one, a little over two carats. It's an eye color VVS2, okay? And this one here, you know, we're getting some good reflections there uh, at the belly, but um, mostly head body shadow, so... You see that how that distinctively dark band across the belly there. So the overall proportions on this, um, well, listen. If I had to choose, if I'm choosing between those two emerald cuts, the second one clearly gets it. All right. This one here, even when I'm getting light off the belly on this one, which I am right there, um, the tops of the stone, the top and bottom of the diamond are um, dead. Okay. So. So far, the vote clearly goes then to number two, the HVS1. Last but not least, this is a um, another one in a little over two carats. This one in eye color, just like the last one, but in a VS1 as opposed to VVS2. And, you know, as you can see, you know, and any of you who've been watching my videos for a long time, the clarity has absolutely nothing to do with the optics of the cut. Unless, of course, you're getting a clarity that's so heavily included it's going to impact transparency. But that's never the case with VSs and VVSs. Um, this is a good-looking one, okay? We're getting good patterning, a nice step patterning off the belly. Uh, nice, uh, nice clip corners in it. All right. I'm not getting, uh, you know, th th there are going to be points in an emerald cut where you will see your head body shadow kind of like right there, all right? Right now I have the diamond kind of tilted on that lower angle, which is drawing in more darker reflections, 
but when I tilt it up towards the um, towards the eyes there I'm getting some good reflections across the belly and that's good and it also has good step patterning um, but quite frankly since I have the ability to choose and since we are inspecting these live you know this is my first choice right here all right and the diffused ambient type light environment um, as you guys know already too is, is the most important lighting environment to us when it comes to the analysis of uh, really any diamond whether it's rounds or emerald cuts or cushion cuts or princess cuts or any fancy shape where we're going to be determining those optical characteristics of brightness and contrast okay so this HVS1 that, that in my professional opinion is going to be the ticket when it comes to optics and of course we're going to continue to analyze this diamond for clarity um, uh, characteristics and color characteristics to make sure the diamond doesn't have any surface breaching inclusions and all that other fun stuff all right let's going to go into spotlighting spotlighting these are all going to do very well uh, I anticipate um, as long as you have some good reflective properties on the pavilion we'll get good fire but let's go there now okay here's emerald cut number one all right, now right there I want you to ignore, that's glare. So we're going to try and go in between the lights to see just internal reflective properties. And it's doing, but this, this, is, this one did good in diffused ambient light, and it's doing good in spotlighting, okay? So we're getting some good fire and sparkle as the spotlighting refracts off of those pavilions, uh, pavilion facets, okay? So that was one. So that, that first diamond, that 190 in the GVS2 range, um, okay, but look at that bad boy light up. This is, this is diamond number two. Uh, again, my favorite in the diffuse lighting. Yeah, beautiful reflective properties, beautiful fire and sparkle in an emerald, you know, as, and so far as is going to happen in emerald cuts. All right, so looking good, looking good, number two. Looking good, number two. Number three. Now remember that had that, as you can see that dark belly in number three, even here in the uh, spotlighting where it's kind of darker. Now, bam, see, you get that strong fire. There is a little bit of dust on the stone, so just ignore that. We're looking at the internal reflective. And so you're going to get strong fire across the belly as that portion of the diamond hits and reflects light. Okay? And we saw that in diffuse lighting as well. But now it's kind of tilted, you know, more so away from the eye mm -hmm. uh, in the upward angle. Right there. But into the, into the, looking into the face of this one, you've still got that dark belly. Nah. And this last one had similar characteristics, but this is a good fireball. Okay, so yeah, I got to tell you, overall, the second and the fourth diamonds are probably my two favorites in this in this lineup. Okay, this the HVS one and the IVS one. All right, we're going to have a little bit of fun in stronger spotlighting. I'm going to give these diamonds one more little steaming, too. That, little, that dust on the stone is bothering me. So, bear with me a moment, and we're going to bring it into stronger spotlighting. All right, here we are in stronger spotlighting. And diamond number one. Okay, wow. Lighten up nice. Okay, just bear in mind we're in stronger spotlighting. Okay, but sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's see number two in comparison. Come on. This guy's giving me a little trouble. Bear with me.
Oops. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I know. Again, beautiful reflective properties in this emerald cut. Strong fire going on uh, throughout the uh, body and uh, a nice sparkle in the tips. Now, where we saw that strong bow tie in the last two clips, all right, see, we're seeing it there <laughs> again. Okay, bam, there, there you're getting your strong reflections at the angle. And mind you, this one isn't a complete train wreck either. And you are, we are getting some good strong reflections across the belly there. And then emerald cut number four. I really like this one too. Okay, so like I said, I have my two faves. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go by the window and look at both of these diamonds in natural daylighting, my, the, the, what I consider the two faves, and let's see if there's anyone that um, beats the other in natural daylighting. I don't think that's going to be the case, but we don't know until we go see. All right. Very nice. All right. Let's off into natural daylight we go. All righty, and here we are by the window now. Looking at, I have the 190 in this hand. Well, right around 190, the GVS2. Um, the, and this diamond, I'm going to tell you, natural daylighting looks awesome. Okay? And here is the awesome HVS1 as well. So both of these diamonds um, really... Uh, lighting up beautiful okay in natural daylight uh, tough comparison my nod would still go to the HVS one I'm seeing more brighter uh, the, the brightness uh, the intensity of the brightness seems um, a little more in that HVS one so my vote still kind of goes there. Daylighting confirming what we were seeing in uh, indoor diffuse. Now I'm going to keep this out and I'm going to put the uh, next one, the IVVS2 alongside of it. But both of these are pretty emerald cuts, okay? Um, we did a really good job of acquiring some of the better emerald cuts out there on the market for this shoot. So this GVS2, under, it's a little under two carats, um, you know, if this comes in at a more handsome price point to you or not, um, that's not, that, that certainly is no train wreck, okay? But I do have a slight leaning towards this HVS1. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, in, um, I just wanted to jump right to dot emerald cut number four, which was the IVS1 alongside of the HVS1. And the IVS one is here on the right side, and I gotta tell you, hot dog, the diamonds look good in daylight. Okay, so these are my two favorites. Now I'm gonna tell you this this IVS one. Oops, let me focus there on my fingernails for a second. Okay, this IVS one on the right um, does look a bit bigger. <laughs> okay. So it does look a little bit spreadier. So and and the optics on it are beautiful. Okay. So so the, the, these two these are my two favorite emerald cuts here. And I got to tell you, in natural daylighting, I'm really liking this um, this IVS one. Okay. So you could really, you may want to watch the video back, but both the HVS1 on my left and the IVS1 on my right, those are my two top choices 
um, in this video. All right, for obvious, you know, the, for obvious reasons. Okay, and just for fun, we're going to leave out this IVS one, and we're going to compare it to that IVVS two, which was actually emerald cut number three. Ooh, I'm liking this one. <laughs> Hold on now. Okay. Now here is that here is the IVS one in my left hand, and here is the um, IVVS two in my right hand, and we're seeing more of that darkness across the belly in the IVS IVVS two in my right hand. So this this uh, video is really kind of a good um, demonstration of what the bow tie effect looks like in an emerald cut. Now of course if we tilt this emerald cut at certain other angles, it's going to draw light. See. Room. We're tilted away from the eye there at angle. Here too, see? We, we're getting it lighted up across. But when we aim into the face, that's when we're getting our bow tie effect. All right, which is the same and that holds true in other fancy shapes like marquees, ovals, cushions, um, and rectangular shapes as well. All right, where is the emerald cut on the left, man? It's just lighting up all over the place. All right, and that concludes this video. Thank you again for watching, and we hope that you appreciate what we're doing here. All right, we've located two beautiful honeys for you. I like the um, IVS one here, and the HVS one are my two faves when it comes to these uh, four emerald cuts. Thank you again for watching. You guys hit subscribe if you want to learn more about diamonds, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.